In this video, we're going to go over the engulfing bar entry inside the Predator. This engulfing bar, or really a continuation bar entry, was mainly designed to work with these Ninsa Renko bars, but this will work on any similar type of chart. So things like the Unirenko bars or the ADTS RV bars, which are really popular nowadays, and even the King Renkos for those that have paid for it, they will all have a very similar entry style. But for this example, I'm going to use the Ninsa Renko bars because that's what most of us use on the Discord. So it'll just make things a little bit easier. And I'm going to leave some links down below to where you can find some of these bars as well. So what is the reasoning behind these engulfing continuation bar entries? The main theory behind these is a rejection of a trend reversal. So for example, let's look at our long setup here. We have a few green bullish candles. Then we have one candle that tried to go down in price. The bears are trying to push the price down but ultimately it gets rejected and it drives the price back up. All of the bears that had their stop around this level here, they're all getting stopped out while the bulls are pushing up. So we combine all of that and it drives the price even further. And it's the complete opposite for the shorts. We have some bearish candles. Then we have the bulls trying to push the price back up and ultimately they get rejected. All the bulls that had their stop around this level get stopped out while the bears are pushing down. It just drives the price further down. And yes, you can filter out trades, you can add more indicators, moving averages, things like that. But that is the main purpose of these entries. So let's go over how to set that up. So we want to right click on the chart, go to strategies, go to the trade saver predator folder and select the predator X order entry. From here, because we're using a auto entry function, we need to be in either hybrid mode or classic predator mode. Just for simplicity, what most people are using is the hybrid mode. Hybrid mode just means you have your auto and your manual entries available all in the same chart. So let's scroll down to your auto entry section. From here to display any of your engulfing settings, you have to go to show engulf button. Just select this option and it's going to reveal your options. Your first setting here is the trade and golf bars. When we select this, it just means the predator is actually going to be looking for your engulfing bars. When it detects one, it's going to enter a trade. Selecting this option is going to tell the predator to start actually looking for engulfing patterns. So once it actually detects an engulfing bar, it's going to take that trade. Next, we have some options to customize our engulfing bar. The first option is the tick offset. And this is just how many ticks your engulfing bars wick has to be either below the previous candle or above the previous candle when going short. So for example, an offset of zero just means for a bullish pattern, the engulfing candles wick has to be the same as the low of the previous candle. When you're going short, it means the engulfing candles wick has to be the same as the high of the previous candle. If we were to change this to five ticks, it means when we're going long, your bullish engulfing candles wick has to be five ticks below the low of the previous candle. And your bearish engulfing pattern has to be five ticks above the previous candle. Now, before we move on to the bar since reversal option, let's go to the color engulfing bars. This option is just going to color your engulfing bars and it's going to color them in real time so you can get a little bit of a visual as they're forming. And now we're moving on to the bar sense reversal. The reason for this option is because these engulfing bars tend to be much more accurate when they happen soon after a previous reversal. It's almost always better to get one near a reversal than one when it happens maybe 15, 20 candles later it might not have that same momentum. So this just places a limit to how many candles are allowed to form and your engulfing pattern must be formed within those candles. So with a limit of 10, this just means our engulfing patterns are allowed to form within 10 candles. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. 
So if we were to change this to a value of five, that means your engulfing pattern must form within one, two, three, four, five. Because if it falls within one, two, three, four, five, six, it's outside of that parameter. It's no longer looking for that engulfing pattern. So that's all it really is. It's just to make sure your engulfing pattern is formed soon after your reversal. All right, so those are our main engulfing pattern customization options. Let's go over the more general auto entry customization. So first, let's look at the tick offset entry. And this is just going to help define our main entry point. But to understand these better, we first must look at where our entry point is for these engulfing patterns. If we look at the bullish engulfing pattern, your entry point is going to be right as the next candle that forms touches the high of that engulfing candle. When you're going short, is going to be when your most current candle touches the low of the previous engulfing candle. So with a tick offset entry of zero, as soon as the next candle touches that high or the next candle touches that low, it's going to enter you into your trade. So let's say we change this to a tick offset of four. This just means your next candle is going to have to go four ticks above the engulfing or four ticks below the short engulfing candle. And now we're going to look at the confirmation candles and confirmation candles just means it needs extra confirmation candles in the same direction after your pattern in order to enter your trade. So for example, a confirmation candle value of zero just means it's going to enter directly after your engulfing pattern. If we were to change this to one, it means you're going to get your engulfing pattern. It needs one confirmation candle to close, and then it enters at the break of that confirmation candle. Same with your short, you get your engulfing pattern, one confirmation candle in the same direction, it enters at the break of that confirmation candle. If we change this to two, it's the same thing, just adds more confirmation. So engulfing, one confirmation, to confirmation, enters at the break. Your bearish engulfing, one confirmation, two confirmation, enters at the break. So usually for my trading, I like to keep this at one. It gives me a little bit more confidence, but at the same time, you might get a little bit worse filled than you would with zero. So use this however it works for your strategy. Now, one last thing before we set our order and watch this run on the playback, it's a new option that was requested by a lot of people now, and many of you might find it very useful when trading these engulfing bars. So let's go over that option really quick because I think it's important for the engulfing auto entries. So let's scroll down to your additional filters. Let's click that and it's going to reveal all of these options. And now in version 2.1.6, you will see a trades per direction. And this option is just going to define your trades per direction. So this just means this is how many long trades it's going to take per day and how many short trades it's going to take per day. Many users only want to trade the first engulfing pattern that appears per direction. So we can configure this filter to achieve just that. So I'm going to change this to one for the longs and again, one for the shorts. And we're going to reset this after a reversal. So that means if a trade is taken in one direction, once a reversal happens in the opposite direction, it's going to reset your count. So anytime you're going long, it's only going to take the first pattern that appears. Anytime you're going short, again, it's only going to take the first short that appears. I'm going to make more videos that go into this a little bit deeper. But just to not make this video too long, I'm going to leave it like that. Let's just set up our order and run this on playback. So we go up to our order management section. Here you can select your stops, targets, break evens, trail stops, anything you need to make your order. For this one, I'm just going to leave my stop at the high or the low of the candle. Your position size you can customize here, either custom or let the predator automatically calculate for you. For now, I'm just going to keep it simple at custom. My first target is going to be a position size of one. 
I'm going to set my first target. Let's do 15 ticks. Next, I'm going to set a second target. So target, market order. Again, I'm just going to enter one more contract with this target. So a total of two. My profit target for this one, I'm going to set it quite a bit higher just because I'm going to be trailing my stop with this one. So I'm going to say, I don't know, 100 ticks. Then I'm going to set my trail stop. Again, I'm just going to keep it simple. I'm going to trail each new candle that forms. And it's going to start trailing once it hits my first profit target. So I just set it to 15 ticks as well. So this means when it hits 15 ticks into profit, my trail stop is going to start. We're just going to hit OK. Once we have that loaded up, make sure you go to your control panel, enable the strategy. I'm just going to hit play. And I might speed this up just a little bit. Order submitted. Okay. So here we got our engulfing bar. We had one confirmation candle and it set our order at the break of this confirmation candle. If you look at the bottom of the chart down to our timestamp, you'll see these two candles have the exact same timestamp, which means they were printed at the same time. So when it's moving this fast, you might notice it appears a little bit later, but that's just how these Ninsarenko charts work. Uh, sometimes multiple candles can be printed at the exact same time. But if they have different timestamps, then you would likely see your order right on this bar right here. We're just working with small bar sizes, so with NQ, it gets a little crazy. It might appear a little bit later, and that's pretty normal, but it will still get you in at the best price as soon as it detects that trade is valid. So I'm just going to keep hitting play so we can see how this works. So here we have it set at the 15 ticks. Order filled. Okay, so once it hit our first profit target, now it's just trailing each new candle as they form. So I'm just going to speed this up a little bit more. Order filled. So from there, it will either hit your profit target, you get stopped out. You can always control your trade with the buttons as well. It's really whatever you want to do. So let's see one on the short side now. If we get one. So here we might actually get one. Okay, after this candle closes, we should see our entry on this bar right here. Order submitted. There we go. So here it's the same thing with the shorts. We get our short engulfing bar, the one confirmation candle, and then it enters at the break of that confirmation candle. And unlike our longs, these bars do not share the same timestamp, so it appears where it should be. So again, let's just play it and see how this plays out. Order so fill. Order fill. Again, on the short side, it hits our first profit target, starts trailing each new candle, and then we just get stopped out there. This is just an example on playback, just so we can see how it works. But I think everybody gets the point of how these engulfing pattern entries are placed. And yes, you have a ton of options to filter out your trades even more. You can use moving averages or even your own custom indicators if they plot drawing objects and the predator can read them. But I'm going to leave the video here. I hope you guys found it useful. As always, take care, enjoy.